So, hopefully everything's working now. This video apparently doesn't want to be filmed because I've done it now a million times. I filmed this video by myself and decided that it'd be funner with Charles, who I haven't in this part <laughs> introduced yet. <laughs> Charles. I'm the money guy. Yeah, he feeds my addiction. So, he, for my birthday, I made a, a wish list on Book Outlet and I was like, pick a couple of these. I want to be surprised. And he bought the whole list. So I roll. Because he loves me. And so, like I said, <clears throat> I did it first. Like, I didn't know. I couldn't remember what they were. So I opened up and I was all surprised. But I hated it. I didn't like it. I wanted him to be in it. So I'm going, to, I'm going to tell him one by one kind of what the books are and then he's going to have to pick his number one that he's excited about and I have to add it to my TBR for March. Um, so like I said, we'd already started filming it and we'd been through about five books and I realized that my mic wasn't on. So let me just tell you guys the ones he didn't pick. He did not pick... <laughs> um, the Queen of Bright and Shiny Things by Anne Aguirre, Aguirre, whatever we decided her name was. This one, if you guys don't know, is basically just like a light contemporary YA love story. Um, the other was Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glatt. What did you say this was? Glasgow. Glasgow. Honestly, I have to like, either you have to hold these or I do because it's like, I'm not getting it in shot very good. I really don't know what this book is about it, honestly. I've heard lots of good things about it. People are talking about it. I think it's kind of like a thrillery type of thing, if I remember right, but I don't remember. It looks intense. Like, no. that's some intense shiz right there. <laughs> but I could be wrong. I don't know. Be nice to them. Next is one of my favorites that I was most excited for, and that's Bad Romance by Heather Demetrios. And he didn't want it because this is the domestic violence one. I was actually rooting for that one because I think Lady Gaga is a boss. <laughs> okay. And then lastly was A Little Something Different by Sandy Hall. And this is basically a love story told by 14, 14 different viewpoints. So, like, it says, Gabe's friend, Leah's roommate, a squirrel. How the hell would they get the squirrel <laughs> for you in a book? <laughs> anyway, so there's that one he did not pick. So the one that right now... Cool is, cover, though. It is a cool cover. Way it's cool. It's really cute. I like it. And it was really cheap. I think that one was only, like, $2. The book that we are currently in number one for the running is Emmy and Oliver by Robin Benway. And so I read more so I could explain it to you a little Let's bit better. Hear it. So basically what it is, is so they are two friends, Emmy and Oliver, and Emmy, her parents, she just wants to like go surfing and stuff, but her friends won't, her parents won't let her basically do anything because her friend Oliver, 10 years ago, like went missing. But then you find out that Oliver is been like kidnapped by his dad, is who like, who he So he really wasn't kidnapped. No. But nobody knows that, I guess. I'm just reading this from the synopsis. I really didn't know a whole lot about this one. Um, and so then he comes back to the hometown and they have to see if their friendship still stands. Next, what do we have, my dear? Next we have a very oh. colorful... Your burp is so stinky. <laughs> ...online going solo. This sounds very dirty. No. <laughs> this sounds very dirty. Look at this freaking <laughs> thing. Zoe Sug, that sounds it's dirty. Zoe Sug, you know, I'll give you one guess who this is. You know who this person is. Well, it says it's by Zoella right there on the yeah. cover. Yeah, so do you know who that is? You know how much I know about Zoella? As much as I've told you. Not much. But yeah, so this is Zoe Sugs or Zoella her last book in her trilogy of the Girl Online series. First one is just Girl Online, but it's Girl Online on tour. This is Girl Online What the hell could this be solo. about? So basically, I forget what her name is. Basically what this series is, is 
a girl named Penny who is in high school. She has like this anonymous blog that she writes and nobody knows who it is. She somehow gets hooked up with this famous pop star dude. They become boyfriend and girlfriend. The second one, like it says, it says on tour, so she goes on tour with him. This is the third installment of the book. Basically, it's a really kind of dumb series that's unrealistic and kind of stupid, but I have to finish it, so I got the third one. <laughs> so good job. Yeah. Way to finish. Yeah, no, I haven't yet. So chuck that one. So no. <laughs> okay. All right. The <gasps> names they gave us by Emery Lord. This is a cool cover. I hate this cover. If you've seen the European cover, it's so much better. There's Nobody. There's different covers in Europe? Yeah. There's, European covers are different. They're mm. always so much better. It's the truth. Damn. But this book, one that I got because of the other girl you know that I love so much, uh, Kayla. Kayla who? Lala. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do think they're pretty freaking cool. Yeah. Her and her husband. Her husband's a cool dude, too. It's true. So basically, this is about a girl who normally every summer goes to... Who usually goes every summer to her family's, like, summer Bible camp. But uh, this particular year, her mom gets cancer, so she goes to another youth camp. And basically, it's like a coming of age. What do you think they do at Bible camp? Read the Bible. Everybody raves about this book that it is like, make you cry, so good, everybody loves it. Yes or no? Replacing Emmy and Oliver. No. I'm always down for like a good kind of like comeback love story. You don't know it's a love story, they're just friends. It's gonna be a love story, <laughs> I promise. It's not carnival. I know, it doesn't have an N <laughs> No. <laughs> carnival? Carnival. Carnival. Remember, it's only a game by Stephanie Garber. This is your kind of jam. This is a book basically about a circus. Main gate closes at midnight. Anyone who arrives later than this will not be able to participate or win this year's prize for one wish. Legendary competition, a mesmerizing romance, an unbreakable bond between two sisters. I'm already out. Okay. <gasps> You would love this book. We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. This is awesome a cover. Is awesome <laughs> freaking cover. I'm all into aliens and stars and the well, universe. Well, that's why like I said you would right love now. this book. I forgot. I forgot this one was in here. So I might oh, need wait. to read this. Bad Pause boy. a second. Pause. And because I didn't do it in this for, in in this take of the thing, I put. I'm gonna put it here now. Again. What I was pretty sure was the pick that Charles was going to pick out of these. But I forgot that this book was in here. This might be the book that you pick. Anyways, so it's about, it's about aliens. It's about this boy who keeps getting abducted by aliens. Okay, first of all, that doesn't happen. Well, it's, this you is don't the, keep getting no, abducted by aliens. This isn't like a non-fiction book. So it's a... Everything is fiction, unless it's a non-fiction. It keeps getting abducted by aliens. And he doesn't really know why. He wants to be damn good company. You no, know? I guess we Here find you out. This is replacing it. Yes. Okay. We are the ants. She is not invisible. I would go off of this book from the covers like she's like a loner. Um. She's gonna try to like prove herself. I don't know. She is blind. And so completely she, off. <laughs> yeah. So it's about a girl who's blind and basically feels like in the world as a blind person she is invisible and nobody gives her much credit. Yeah. And so, oh, it's a thriller. That actually sounds like a really good book, but it cannot beat out the aliens. It's, <clears throat> it's so short to be a thriller. There's nothing worse than a short book. I like short books. I want like 700 pages of awesome. Hence why he, I bought him <laughs> the, Stephen, that JFK book? the Stephen King yeah. JFK book, 1162, no. whatever, <laughs> 112962. No. Where is it? It's in your room. I moved it off my shelf. I'm going to get it. What? And... <laughs> it ain't in there. Up on the top shelf in your closet. 
first by Laurie Elizabeth Flynn. It's about a girl who... Throw it out. I don't care. Well, I have to tell them what the book is about. Okay. It is about a girl who basically wants to take virgins. She only sleeps with virgins because she wants to be able to teach them how to have good sex. Oh my gosh. What the <laughs> hell? I think it sounds really good. Um, 13. 13 stories that capture the agony of ecstasy of being 13. Capture the agony and ecstasy of being 13. Why ecstasy? That's a weird... Why would they say that? That sounds sexual. Help. Well, I didn't know. When I ordered this 13, um, it's a short story collection, and I don't really ever read short story collections. I didn't know that it was. It's edited by James Howe. Oh, oh, this one's so good, too. I am already like... <laughs> Getting a chubby from oh, this book. Say that. Radio Silence. Alice Osman, I think. Osman. Osman, okay. Yep. Oh, hello. I hope somebody is, is listening. It's about a girl who really enjoys a podcast and she ends up doing like the fan art for it. That is just like a really cool cover. That's really cool, huh? Oh, yeah. And it's a really long book. <laughs> so she basically does the fan art for the podcast and kind of gets like pulled into it. And I think it's like this like mystery. So Radio Silence is this kid's name. Everyone loves this book too. Oh, this is a tough one. Can there be a tie for a minute and we'll finish this later? Sure. Okay. This, this book cover has a sticker. I think that's on top of the name of the book. <laughs> Oh, sorry, it does. It's called Speak. <laughs> I know. It's called it. Speak. <laughs> By Laurie House Anderson. Yep. Take it away. I love Laurie House Anderson. So one of my goals for this year was to pick up more by Laurie House Anderson. This book is called Speak. It's old ish. Let me Long um, time ago, cowboy. It was 1999. Does her eyes meet mine for a second? I hate you. She mouths silently. You don't want this one. Nope. Okay. Aliens rule. 100 Days of Cake by Shari this one's hard. Goldhagen. Check What's it. going on with this? That's okay. That's good enough. Someone from Book Outlet on their Instagram stories, someone suggested it is like their favorite book um, book outlet. In the past year, Molly's been struggling with depression, above and beyond industry standard teen angst. Crushing on her therapist isn't helping. And neither is her mom, who is convinced that baking the perfect cake will cure her. As if icing alone can magically make her rejoin the swim team or care about the SATs. Um, no. Not going to happen. My life next door, I can already tell you. This you said you one. wanted a blight and fluffy one. I like the alien ones. And, <laughs> yeah. A Boy, A Secret, A Choice by Huntley Fitzpatrick. I hate this cover too, and especially the yeah, spine. Yeah, it's pretty the spine, friggin' nor Compared to the cover, just don't even come close to going together. Samantha keeps her home neat and clean and orderly. Next door, Garrett's things are loud, messy, and irresistible. And when gorgeous Gace Garrett climbs the trellis outside her bedroom and enters her life, she finds herself falling passionately in love with him and everything he brings with him. I think I'll read that one in the summer. It Summer nice. time. All right, this one is Sway by Cat Spears. Boy meets girl, boy charms girl for someone else. I don't mind that cover. That's kind of cool. Basically, it's about a boy who's supposed to help another guy find, um, be with this girl, and basically falls for the girl. And she has a brother who has cerebral palsy, and she's. It kind of reminds me of. Um, What's that one old movie where she has that cancer or disease or whatever? And she's like the nerd and he falls for her. Oh, Walk to Remember? Walk to Remember. That's kind of what it's One about. of my favorite movies. Yeah, it kind of sounds like that. Like she's this goody good girl who goes to nursing homes and does Great all this movie. stuff and he falls for her. We'll see if I'm right. Except for it's not a Walk to Remember. A World Without You by Beth Revis. Um, this is a book about mental health as well. I can't remember the particular mental, mental health. health. that kind of stuff interests me a lot. Okay, so this might, let me read it to you. You might like this. So 17 year old Bo has always had delusions that he can travel through time. When he was 10, Bo claimed to have witnessed the Titanic hit an iceberg. At 15, he found himself on a civil, world, civil war battlefield horrified by the bodies surrounding him. So when he wor his worried parents sent him to 
a school for troubled youth, Bo assumes he knows the truth, that he's actually attending Berkshire Academy, a school for kids who, like Bo, have superpowers. But even the strength of their love isn't enough to help Sophia escape her deep depression. After she commits suicide, Bo is convinced that she's not actually dead. He believes that she's stuck somewhere in time and that he somehow left her in the past and that now it's his job to save her. This... Oh. Give a Boy a Gun by Todd Strasser. This is a book about a school shooting. It interests me, but like that <clears throat> kind of stuff, I don't really know if I can, if I really want to get into it. But. As long as I can remember, Brenda and Gary have been mercilessly teased and harassed by the jocks who rule Middletown High, but not anymore. Stealing a small arsenal of guns from a neighbor, they take their classmates hostage at a school dance. That actually sounds like a book I would read. So, we are going to... Is this to... the last book? In the... Nope, there's oh. one more. And it looks good. Cracked. By K.M. Walton. <clears throat> Sometimes there's no easy way out. And drugs fascinate me. So, this is basically... It's not exactly what it sounds like. So... Well, it looks like what it sounds like. So, there's two boys, Victor and Bull. So, yeah, I think... So, Victor, I think, is the one being bullied. And he's being bullied by Bull. And so, um, at their high school or whatever, junior high, I'm not sure. And they, they basically don't know what happens, but they both wake up and they're in the psych ward and they're roommates in the same That would psych be ward. tough. Yes or no? I think that's like a top. Out of how many books do we have? Uh, 20 something. 20 something. I think that's probably in the top five. Well, clearly we have four that you can't pick between, so... There we are. <laughs> so, the books that Charles now has to pick one... Ra radio, so radio Silence would be book number four. So you don't want Radio Silence. So no on the Radio Silence. That Book number three, Cracked. So no to Crack. No to Cracked. If you can't pick, I'll do both of these because this one is like, the text on this is huge and it's under 200 pages. So I can knock this book out. I think that I've got to go with number two is the uh, Give a Boy a Gun. That is the number two and I'm going with the number one book is We Are the Ants. Just because I'm in a weird place right now <laughs> and I'm all about it. Okay. So, well, do you want, like I said, I'll read both of these because look how big the text okay, is. Okay, read, read We Are the Ants first. And if I finish that one, I'll, I'll get read into give the, the Give the Boy the Gun. So, do you want to know what the book was that I thought that you were going to pick? Yeah. What do you, what do you think that I would I pick? have no idea. Yeah. That was the book I well, you were close. thought for That's sure the number that two. you would pick. But I forgot, like I said, I forgot this one was in here. Yeah. These will be added to the TBR. For March. It's been real. I will still be doing my book TBR jar picks. Two of those, and then I already have some of my audiobooks downloaded. So. Don't be surprised if you don't ever see me again. Shaylee's frustrated. <laughs> Love you. Thanks for doing it with me. Yep. <laughs> Hey see guys, guys. till the next time, I'll see ya. Probably won't be back. Bye. <laughs>